Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference in Sharm el-Sheikh, where I'm here in the exhibition part of the conference. And uh, we're here on the Viasat stand with Craig Noonan. Craig, thanks so much for letting us join you on the stand. Quite welcome. Now, we're here because uh, over half of the world's population do not have access to essential medical care, according to the World Health Organization and the World Bank. And uh, Viasat are doing something about this, revolutionizing healthcare and uh, m mobile healthcare uh, with uh, the use of satellite broadband. Connectivity is the key. Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been developing here, because they, they've got some very interesting tools that you've been uh, demonstrating here, I, I believe, all day. Absolutely, absolutely. So what we're enabling with our low-cost connectivity is the ability to now deliver healthcare remotely at an affordable price. So what we've developed here is a, a clinic in a box, and we replicate the clinic experience from check-in all the way through to the doctor visit. And uh, in doing so, we allow um, the, use of, the use of diagnostic devices through our platform, through the connectivity to connect the doctor to do everything he can do in the clinic with the exception of laying hands on his patient. So the clinic in the box, as I said, replicates the clinic experience. The, the front end of this allows us now to select clinics that can be either government run, socially run, they can be run by private healthcare networks, or we can divide the services to pediatric care or elder care or mental health. So we can, we can develop the platform and, and route the patients however our customers would like. Okay, and the hardware that you're using here? So one of our, one of our key uh, aspirations is to use off-the-shelf hardware which allows us to control cost. So as technology uh, proliferates, it drives costs down. We all know that. So we're using uh, diagnostic devices, pulse ox, stethoscope, uh, glucometers, blood pressure, anything, any configuration that we would like. They're Bluetooth oriented, and the Bluetooth connects to our to off-the-shelf tablet to our software. Our software then connects to um, platform, connects us with the doctor, and allows the doctor then to live in real time activate and read these devices so when you would enter the clinic you would choose the clinic and and so we're going to choose one the first step is in any clinic is we have to do an intake form so you we would have you would enter the name first name last name date of birth and gender mm -hmm. that allows the the basic information to be transferred in in the uh process of of the um experience okay. when you come through then you would enter in type in what your symptoms are or what your, your challenges are today. Yes, well, what have I got? Uh, how about rapid heartbeat? Rapid heartbeat, that sounds, uh, sounds familiar. And the, the hardware that you're using here, this is, uh, this is also off-the-shelf off the hardware as yes, well. Yes, so tablet. The, the, the tablet in this case is a Samsung uh, Android tablet, so it works, our platform works on any Android uh, platform. So essentially keeping the cost right down here. Always trying to drive the cost down, so for our users. Okay, great. So we've entered the, the details there as if I'd got into a reception of a, uh, of, of a doctor's surgery. Correct. And so what we're seeing on this screen is if you're the doctor. So now we're on okay. the doctor's side. This yes. is in the remote area. Yeah. This is now connected to anywhere in the world uh, as the uh, doctor's view. Okay. On his status, he will see a call waiting. If we had multiple tablets out there all calling at the same time, it would queue those up. And so the doctor could see who's waiting, just like in the waiting room. Great. Uh, it comes from the clinic, is identified, so that was yes. identified from our, from our area. Yes. The participant is Max Jacobson, that's yeah. the patient. Yeah. So the doctor is controlling the system. Yeah. Uh, he can start the video now, and so now he would connect, and this would be the doctor. It's yes. going to look very similar sure. when we answer the call on the other end. Okay. Now, we, now we have full two-way video and audio, right. just yes. as if you were sitting in front of the doctor in the clinic. Fantastic. So now we have an interaction between the doctor and yep. the doctor would be asking you questions, going through the same thing, looking at his data. Right. Now the key here is on a, on a uh, audio telemedicine, yes. they have no access to your vitals. No. Well, now we have uh, integrated the Bluetooth vitals. Okay. Uh, so all of these diagnostic devices are Bluetooth to the, to the um, tablet. The tablet is connected to the internet right. providing. Uh -huh. So in this case, the doctor would say, we need Max, we need to see how your sure. blood oxygen is. Okay. Let's see how this is going. We would activate yeah. the pulse oximeter. He okay. would choose it as well up here. Mm -hmm. And here we, we will start it. So you can see it's searching. It's taking the measurements right. live okay. 
from remote, and right. now it is giving you a 98 SpO2 and a heart rate of 74, and it's giving you a waveform as we go along. And that's a good thing, is it? That is a very good thing. Okay. Yeah, 95 to 100, and you're very good. Really? Excellent. Okay, yes. good. Okay, and you're, and, oxygen here. And, and you're not under stress. You have a 73 heartbeat. Perfect. All right, so, it's gone up to 84. You see what there happens? There we go. So a little stress. <laughs> no so so, so yeah. the key here is it's real time. Right. These are actual vitals, and they're in real time. It, it presented at the point of diagnosis from the from the uh, doctor. In this case, we have blood pressure, we have stethoscope, so we can see live stethoscope. Yeah. We have an otoscope or a camera, okay. so in case they need to, to look at the throat or the ears, right. Fantastic. Uh, we can capture those images and, 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 and archive them. So now he's going through his normal sequence of whatever vitals he needs and talking to you about symptoms and so sure. on and so forth. He comes up with his diagnosis. Yes. So once he has his diagnosis, he goes to visit details. He comes down here to the okay. summary yep. and he says, uh, Max is in excellent health. So that's the good news. Great. You got good news today. Yeah, no, my insurance will be very pleased about that. Yeah. So this captures, this captures sure. whatever, whatever the yes. uh, vitals were. It okay. captures all of those for, for the record. Yep. And now once we do that, we can, he can export the summary. Okay, now this great. summary comes out into a PDF, PDF right. which can now be sent to you as the patient, or it can be part uh, attached to your medical record. Right. Okay. So, in, so the two issues, in particularly in developing countries and rural areas, are uh, prenatal care right. and infant care. Infant mortality okay. is very high, yep. so we want to make sure that we can deliver that care to the mother pre and post delivery. Okay. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have an aging population. Sure. So now we must manage chronic conditions, COPD, uh, diabetes, things of that nature. Indeed. So in those in those cases now, we're we're educating and providing easy access to doctors. Uh, and one other feature of our of our program is we can download and we do download guides onto the system, which are not using bandwidth at this point. Right. So now you can download information, community health information. Okay. So now we can help educate the community at the edge, sure. without having to use bandwidth. And what's the rollout been like so far on this? Uh, it's been fantastic. So we have been running it in uh, the United States and in Canada. Uh, we are now rolling it out in the rural communities into Mexico. We have, uh, Viasat has installed community Wi-Fi into roughly 3,000 uh, communities in the rural areas of Mexico. Right, right. Uh, those communities are roughly 500 people and less. Uh, and now we're bringing services to now um, elevate the community uh, in healthcare and education. Well, it's been a fascinating insight into uh, into these tools and, and into uh, your uh, push for uh, the great connectivity for the for the globe, which is obviously ITU's uh, uh, ma mandate as well. And, and just wanted to say thank you very much and, and wish you very very much the best of luck with this. Absolutely, thank and, you for your and, time. And hopefully we will catch up again some stage in the near future. Come back and we'll do more. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Craig. Take well, care. thanks very much, and and thanks so much for joining us. And uh, tune in for more interviews uh, here at uh, the World Radio Communication uh, Conference here 2019 in Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, where we'll be doing uh, a number more uh, of these interviews uh, over the next uh, few weeks. Thank you.